Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record supplier invoices and pay suppliers using QuickBooks Online. Go to the main supplier screen by clicking Suppliers or Vendors button in the left sidebar. You'll then be taken to this screen. Now, depending on which version of QuickBooks you have, you'll either have an option to raise an invoice for a supplier or create an expense. The more extensive versions of QuickBooks allow you to record invoices from suppliers and manage credit supplier accounts. The more simple version of QuickBooks doesn't offer that, but only allows you to create an expense. As this is a more simple version of QuickBooks, I'll show you how to record an expense. If you want to post invoices and manage credit to suppliers, then I suggest going back to the customer video about raising customer invoices by clicking the drop down box and clicking create invoice because the template is very similar. The only difference between raising customer invoices and posting supplier invoices is you generally print or save the invoice at the end of a customer invoice to send it to the customer. Whereas supplier invoices, you're purely just recording it and posting it onto the system. It is a lot more simple than I'm making it sound but if you want to record supplier credit accounts then just click the create invoice button you'll have the template appear and just fill in the information it's pretty straightforward and like I said if you refer back to the customer videos it's the same process you'll just use the term supplier instead of customer so let's look at creating an expense. So say we have had an expense that we've paid from Furniture Limited. We click on create expense. We have the supplier come up automatically. We then need to choose the account we wish the expense to come out of. So we have the Barclays current account that I added a few videos ago in the chart of account screen. You'll notice I also have my cash on hand account. We have the option here to create new accounts. So you can go back to the chart of accounts to open a new account, or you can do it here. So say we have another bank account, perhaps a savings account or a second cash on hand account. All we need to do is click add new and we can add in those details there. But for the purpose of this, of this video, let's use the Barclays current account. We can enter the payment day. So say we paid this yesterday, click on the calendar, go back a day and click. Enter the payment method. We have cash, check or credit card. Once again, if you want to add a new payment method, let's say we paid this supplier by Bax, click add new enter the name of the new payment method so I have entered Bax and click Save. Bax will now always appear as a payment method. Enter the account so this is the expense account. We need to categorize what our expenses are and this is where we, we would do that. So even though the supplier is called Furniture Limited, let's say it was advertising costs or an advertising expense that we paid out for. So click on the drop down list and find the advertising expense account. You'll see I have various expense accounts that I can book expenses to. If your expense account is not there, once again, just click the add new and add the expense account that you need. 
Alternatively, you can go back to the chart of accounts and add a new expense account following the procedure I showed you a couple of videos ago. So let's click the drop down list and click advertising. Let's put a description in. So let's say this was an advert in furniture limited magazine. I'm just making this up. And then we can put in the monetary amount. So say it was $50 or £50. You'll see the total is at the top here. You may have a reference number to add. You may not. This would generally be the supplier's invoice number that you could reference. Once you're happy, click save and new or click the drop down box and click save and close. If we click save and close, the payment will be saved and we'll go back to the supplier screen. If we click save and new, the expense is saved and our template is clean to add a new expense. Let's add an expense for Goofy Limited. I've put in G and Goofy Limited appears. Let's click on Goofy Limited. This time, let's say it was cash on hand. It was today. Let's choose today's date. This time we paid in cash from our cash on hand account. And Goofy Limited, let's say that is an insurance company. So click on the drop down list, click insurance. Let's put in a description. Let's just put in business insurance. The amount was $120 or pounds. This time, let's click save and close. The payment will be saved and we're back at the main supplier list.